I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Radio Joe, race number seven. Let's try and get the cash over 1,800 meters, bringing down the curtain at Hollywood Bets Gravel. It is the Hollywood Bets Bright Future Middle Stakes. And this is for horses with a net rating of 80 and below. Early time of recording, scratch is number two flag bearer. So there will be eight runners to take part. Now of those eight runners, when I've got a tick next to seven runners, that means field race. This is quite a tricky looking event. So we'll go through a few of the runners, starting with number one, Blazing Light, who could be a little bit of value at around 12 and 14 to one with a 50% win strike rate over the course and distance. And looking at the field, things might map out for Sean Veal from that number one draw. 56 kilograms on the back, all three victories have been recorded on the poly at the course. So he has a horse blazing light who could lead them a merry dance. Now when it comes down to the tactics of the race, number one blazing light's a horse who likes to push forward. Last time he did over race with the cheek pieces on. So let's see if those cheek pieces stay on number one blazing light because over the 1900 he over raced and they had him off the pace. He was drawn 10. Draw a line through that and his earlier form is very, very encouraging. Now my first selection is going to be number three, Banzai Pipeline. Now if you go back in their form line, they have met before and Banzai Pipeline did beat Blazing Light by a length and a quarter on that occasion. So bearing in mind there's not going to be a lot to separate them. I'm going to stick with number three, Banzai Pipeline, banking on the fact that Blazing Light and perhaps something else could press forward. Trying to look at the speed map, there doesn't appear to be too much speed on paper. So I'm hoping that number one, Blazing Light, with his big frame, he must weigh close to 600 kilograms. And from that number one draw, Sean Veal's not going to want to waste that draw. So I'm hoping Blazing Light goes off and sets a decent pace. And that could set up for number three, Banzai Pipeline, who has got the 60 kilograms, but he's got Richard Faree. And a set of blinkers could be the secret weapon to his success. He possesses a very powerful turn of foot that last 400 to finish. So the quicker they go, the better for number three, Banzai Pipeline. Now when you look at his poly record, four of his six wins have been achieved on the poly, four at the course, and if you look at Richard Faree's strike rate on him, the last three times Richard has jumped aboard, he beat Blazing Light, he ran second to a few dollars more, and then he came through to beat Fine Admiral. Of his current rating, he's still going to be very, very competitive, and Richard Faree might have a plan in mind here. I think they might race him a little bit closer to the speed. He's a horse who's usually dropped out of it, and he finds a powerful finish. If Blazing Light or something else jumps and goes a real good lick, then Banzai Pipeline from that inside barrier, he might sit four or five lengths off them. If they go slower, watch out. Richard Faree is going to be razor sharp and he's going to be right there to attack when things get serious. Number four, straight up off two fourths, so you've got to throw him in. Number five, Continental Express. He has an unexposed three-year-old Vercingetorix. The Vercingetorix are certainly setting the tracks a lot at the moment. We don't know too much about him. He's been off the track for 40 days. Straight out the maidens, we'll get a good feel for him. Number six, Wyatt's Choice. Really took off like a bullet last time out. The last 300 to finish, he was only beaten a short head and another stride, he would have been a winner. He has been pushed up two points in the merit rating system, but he's a horse that we're going to keep a very close eye on. Number seven, Ricardo, second to Circular Grace last time out. Rachel Vinica knows him very well. Super consistent, so you have to throw him in. 
And like I mentioned, when you tick six or seven runners in a race, then you've got to take a little bit of caution. But in race number seven, I'm going to go with number three, Banzai Pipeline from the golf puller outfit. We're going to stick with Richard Ferry to win. For second, number one, Blazing Light. And then after that, you take your pick between numbers four, five, six, and seven. But I'm going to be in the camp of number three, Banzai Pipeline. And I believe he could chalk up his next victory. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.